The term favelas translated as slum, shantytown, squatter community, or even ghetto. These terms evoke negative imagery about crime, violence, and poverty. But these translations are not accurate and are incredibly damaging. Favelas are simply Brazilian neighborhoods that have emerged from an unmet need for housing. Residents built their own homes brick by brick. Unregulated, the communities overcame challenges and developed organically, producing exceptional assets. Today, they're affordable communities, home to incredible cultural wealth and resilience. Catalytic Communities was founded in 2000. We believe that the qualities of Rio's favelas can inspire communities worldwide as an example of effective community development. Over the last 15 years, we've built a network of thousands of favela organizers, leaders, and journalists. In our first decade, we ran the UN-recognized Casa Community Technology Hub, which supported 1,200 local leaders from across Rio's favelas in digital training and networking. And we created the world's first open access community solutions database. But what we've become most known for is our watchdog news site, Rio on Watch, Rio Olympics Neighborhood Watch. We were the first to write about World Cup and Olympic evictions and favela gentrification. We saw communities being negatively affected by Olympic policies, and we realized that bringing the voices of favela residents to the world would be critical. Eu não, eu não acho que a gentrificação seja algo bom porque afeta o lugar. Muita gente vem para esses lugares, ocupam esses espaços e os moradores originais têm que sair porque fica difícil os originais se manterem porque o modo de vida é diferente e afeta em tudo. Preço, qualidade de vida, espaço, transporte, tudo acaba sendo afetado pela, pelas novas pessoas. Então a juíza está passando por cima de todos os direitos da gente, por, toda, por cima de tudo e de todos, para tirar a gente da comunidade. Eu não acho justo, porque quando a gente chegou aqui, era lagado, não tinha casa, não tinha termo, não tinha nada. Since then, we've published nearly 1,200 articles covering all aspects of Rio's urban development from favela perspectives. We're in the community of Vila Autodromo. We're between the Lagoon and the future Olympic Park, which you can see in the background. Uh, the tall buildings going up, there's a hotel going up, and the community of Vila Autodromo, which is in the middle of this scenario. And you can see um, the demolition uh, area. You can see houses that have been uh, removed. You can see empty lots where the city has removed the debris. Uh, you can also see standing houses because 150 families are still resisting eviction here. Jogos Olímpicos, Jogos Olímpicos não é o meu inimigo, e sim depois dos Jogos Olímpicos, porque os Jogos Olímpicos podem acontecer e eu posso continuar morando aqui. Eu, eu sou vizinha e, e eu já estava aqui. Eu moro aqui há 22 anos. A comunidade tem mais de 40 anos. Então, não é correto por causa dos Jogos ter que tirar a comunidade. Since 2009, we're on watch and our work with journalists has been key to tracking events unfolding here and making much of that visibility possible. This year, we launched Rion Wire, the world's first favela newswire. Anyone can now follow in real time, bite-sized event updates and breaking news from Rio's favelas. Our reports and updates are giving a voice to favelas and strengthening their status across the world. With your help, we can guarantee Rio's favelas receive the attention and support they need through next year's Olympics and Paralympics. If we're successful in our crowdfunding campaign, we'll maintain Rion Watch's momentum, we'll grow Rion Watch with a network of new community correspondents and opinion leaders, we'll guarantee Rion Wire a public resource, and we'll also provide a number of new services which you can read about on our Indiegogo page, from Favela Wire to weekly journalist digests on Rio. Catalytic Communities thanks all our collaborators and supporters over these last 15 years. We hope you'll join them in guaranteeing favelas receive the attention and support they need through the 2016 Olympics and Paralympic Games. Thank you for your support.